Hello world, I am Jake Short, husband, father, realtor, and former home inspector. Today, we're talking about hauling water. If you're gonna live in Northern Arizona, then it's quite likely that you're gonna be hauling water to your own home. What exactly does that mean? Well, today, I'm here to let you know. Please keep in mind that hauling buckets on your shoulders like this gets heavy quickly. So, after the first quarter mile, I'll probably have to stop and take a break. I am totally kidding. Thank you so much for not leaving. The truth is, hauling water is actually much easier than you might have expected. And it's really common up here. In fact, over 60% of Coconino County hauls their own water. And because of the volume of homes here that require hauled water, there are numerous companies that will haul water to your home for you if you choose not to do it yourself. To help you make that choice, I'm gonna give you some facts about hauling water. But first, I wanna show you what it looks like to unload some water at my house. Behind me here is my Suburban. This is the vehicle that I use to haul my water to and from the fill station. You can likely see the body damage here on its side. Any beaten up vehicle or old vehicle, either one, can help you haul water. What truly matters is the vehicle's towing capacity. I'll touch on this more later. As you can see, I, ha I have two water totes on a flatbed behind my Suburban. And right here on the ground, where is it? Right there, right there on the ground is the filling port or the water inlet for my underground tank, also called a cistern. Sometimes cisterns can be above ground. And if that's the case, you'll also need a pump attached to the back of your flatbed. This pump will force the water from your totes up and into the top of the above ground cistern. However, in my case, once I bring the water back to my house, I back up my trailer and park it right here, right next to the inlet, which I'm gonna open up right now. Okay, that's open. And then I'm gonna grab this flexible pipe, which is right here that I bought locally here in Williams at True Value. I drop one end of the pipe into my inlet here, and the other end goes and attaches to the bottom of the tote. Now, this next part is really, really important, okay? You must, must, must make sure that you open the top of your tote. If you don't do that, the pressure of the water flowing out of the tote is gonna cause a suction within the tote and it will damage the tote. So, I open the top of my tote. Now I'm gonna open the tote's drain right here. Da -da -da -da. It's located on the bottom side of this tote. And just like that, the water flows down from the tote on the trailer down into my cistern. Now, I have two totes, so I'll do this twice. But that's it, my family now has water. But where did the water come from? That, friends, is a great question. Let's start our journey to the water fill station. We are on our way to Arizona. There is a water fill station there, and it's always three and a half cents per gallon. To put this into perspective for you, here are some numbers. My family of six goes through about 400 gallons of water per week. At three and a half cents per gallon, that means I pay $14 per week for water. That's $56 per month. That's laundry done, dishes washed, bathing kiddos, and showering adults. You see, hauling water really isn't a chore. Each trip takes me 45 minutes total. That's from my house to Arizona, filling my totes, then back to my house and draining both totes into my cistern. In just 45 minutes, I have water for my family for a week and all for $14. Now think about this. If I took a few hours today, I took a few trips to the fill station and back, I could fill my 2,000 gallon water tank and we would have water for about five weeks. Here's an important note. You need to know that one gallon of water weighs 8.3 pounds. Use this number to determine how many gallons of water you are going to be able to carry on one trip to the fill station and back. Here's my example. My Suburban is rated for 3,500 pounds of towing capacity. 
My single axle flatbed trailer also has a 3,500 pound weight capacity. Thus, I cannot haul more than 3,500 pounds of water. I found that 400 gallons of water weighs just less than my 3,500 pound limit. And thus, 400 gallons became my magic number. I recommend that you give this same thought to your situation and determine how to safely haul water to your house. That means how many gallons of water can you haul with those numbers? Oh look, we're at the fill station. It's as easy as this. Drive up to the fill hose and line it up to the top of your water tote. Head back to your totes and uncap their tops. Walk over to the user terminal and enter your info. You see, Arizona's water fill station utilizes a website where its patrons can deposit money into their online account. When at the fill station, simply input your four digit account number, then your password, enter how much water you want, and push enter. The water then fills your totes. Important safety tip. Always remember to orientate your totes to where it is safe to carry them in transit. For instance, I never have my totes behind the trailer's axle when they're full. I want all of the weight closer to the tongue or over the trailer's axle. This will maintain stability on the road home. One last note. I mentioned that there are several companies up here that will do all of this for you. Please note that instead of three and a half cents per gallon, these companies will charge upwards of eight cents per gallon to deliver the water to your house and unload into your cistern. That's all for now. Should you have any questions about this process, call me. I'm kind of a self-proclaimed expert on the process now. Until next time, be blessed, be safe, and be well. I'm Jake Short. Remember, stick with me and you can always expect better. Bye, world.